Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create the strippy text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to call it as main animation like this, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long and background color I am going to choose black color, simply hit ok and hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then press ctrl n to create new composition and we are going to call it as let's say T and width i'm going to choose 150 height 150 like this now select this text and choose pop-ins black version font you can choose whatever font you want i'm going to type t select this t press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay now select this uh, Press P for position, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit, go to around one second, create another keyframe, go to the start and let's bring this downwards, like this. Then we will go somewhere around let's say 20 seconds, create one keyframe, go again somewhere around 2.20 frames and we will bring this out of this composition. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. Now take a gap of three, uh, up to 10 frames which means up to 3 seconds and we will create another keyframe. Alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression only. Like this. Now right click do and create one null object. Select this text and let's make it apparent with this null. Okay. Select this null, hit enter and let's call it as position and hit ok. Now we have to create typography text. So select this text, hit Ctrl D, hit Enter and let's type Y. Go inside this, go somewhere around over here and change this text to Y. Then select this null object, press P and let's try to bring this position properly at the center. Select this Y and uh, hit Ctrl D, hit Enter and let's call it as P. Double click to open this, change this text to P then select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o go inside this check this 10 to o then g r a We already have P, so we don't need to create extra one. So I'm going to type H and Y also we have. So we have all this text. Now what we need to do, we need to adjust them properly at the center with the help of this position null object. So I'll adjust this Y, then select this stuff with the help of arrow keys. You can adjust this properly. It should be properly at the center of this composition. <coughs> okay, then go to the main animation and we will uh, bring our text one by one. But before that, let's select this and press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and let's bring this backwards. Select this black solid, hit Ctrl C, go over here at all composition, hit Ctrl V and let's bring them downwards. This is just for proper adjustment we can do to rearrange our text. Okay, this is one. Then go to the main animation, hit Ctrl K to open the project settings and change the settings to black, not black but red. 
and now we will bring our text so let's bring this t over here and let's move this over here let's go few frame forward a little bit like this okay uh, then i'm going to select this y bring this over here by holding control you can properly snap at the edge Oops, I forgot to change the text for this edge. Okay, now simply select all of them and adjust them properly. So at the center of this composition like this so if you see we'll get something like this now let's go to the t over here i'll select the positions and let's go to the graph editor select this graph let's move this like this select this and let's move this like this but as you guys know that we have to we have already created this keyframe so it's quite uh, difficult to adjust the graph of each and every one so what you can do you can simply copy this keyframe hit ctrl c go to the y go to the start select this and hit ctrl v so as you guys can see we will get the same result so i'll do this procedure i'll go to the start select this hit ctrl v okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of stuff but this is not interesting so what we can do we need to animate one by one so i'll select this and this first of all let's uh, bring them over properly uh, at this point let's go to around five frames let's select this and let's hide this for now then select this and this let's move them over here go to around 10 frames select this and this move this over here 15 frames this and this move this over here go to around 20 frames select add this and this select this and move them over here now enable all of them so if you see this animation now you will get something like this now let's go somewhere around over here select all of them by hitting ctrl a hold alt open bracket to trim this up to this go to the start and let's move this over here so if you see this now we will get this animation continuously now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as typography like this okay now let's go inside this t over here now right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and double click to open this create one keyframe at map white to and one keyframe at map back black to hit u go somewhere around over here at this point let's hit page down up button one time so it will go one frame backward and create one keyframe hit page down button again one time so it will go over here and now instead of white i am going to choose black and instead of black i am going to choose white so i will get something like this okay 
so if I see I'll get something like this or instead of that you can select this and you can move somewhere around over here and then select those keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v select this right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframes okay then alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over there and copy this expression over here also so if i say this stuff now i'll get something like this okay then select this adjustment layer go over here and simply press ctrl v and make sure that you should bring this layer at the top okay so this is how you will get this kind of stuff then uh, i'm going to select this i'll press f4 and i'm going to enable this icon and by holding ctrl d and by holding ctrl i'll snap this over here again hit ctrl d and snap this over so basically i have created three copies of it then select this hit ctrl d let's bring this down and bring this down okay like this then take a distance of five frames select this one and this one move this over here go to around 10 frames this one and this one move this over here 15 frames select this one and this one move this over here like this okay so you will get this kind of weird stuff over here then go over here simply select all of them hold alt open bracket and let's move this over here and move this over here like this then if you want you can select all of them press ctrl shift c and hit ok hit ctrl d select this last one press s and simply increase the size of it it's totally up to you if you want to do that you can do that then you if you want then you can take a distance of 15 frames and so then this animation should start so it will start the background animation will start a little bit later so it will create one illusion you can take a distance of one minute also one second also like you can move this over here okay so you will get different results now after that right click new and create one uh, let's uh, close this first and select both the layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation now press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and double click to apply increase the contrast decrease the brightness not decrease but let's say 120 or let's say 20 only and complexity 1 Go to the transform and let's increase the uniform scaling somewhere around like this let's decrease the brightness yeah this looks good now select this black solid here alt click on this evolution tab and type time uh, into let's say 80 so you will get something like this if you want more then you can make it to 180 also so it will do a little bit faster then select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as noise and let's hide this now go inside this if you see uh, uh, we have gap over here so simply select both of these layers and simply bring this up to here so the animation will start from here okay so this is my animation uh, if you see this in full resolution it will look something like this okay and if you want then you can select this background one and you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and swap the color of the background 
so it will look the different you can select this first one and you can decrease the size of it it's totally up to you okay like this then you can select this you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can add drop shadow effect on it you can increase the softness to 200 like this change this to 100 let's make this position let's change this softness to 400 and color of this should be somewhere around loose like this okay this looks good to me and after that select this uh, animation layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect <coughs> it will take a time to load and we are going to choose this noise layer okay and let's choose cut resolution and if you see this animation you will get this kind of trippy stuff over here if you see this in full resolution you will get this weird stuff it will take a lot to load this animation because of this effect is heavy and you can go to the noise over here select this and you can increase the contrast a little bit to get different results over here like this it's totally up to you uh, then you can select this noise effect uh, let's go over here and change the what we call scaling like this okay then select this noise hit ctrl D and enable this and press f4 and choose linear bun and you can try different different blending modes it's totally up to you or whichever suits you you can choose check out the difference look they give to your animation like darken color or linear one even multiply let's see for example screen like this i'm gonna go with linear one press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 40 or let's say 20 okay let's see this animation in quad resolution because in full resolution it will take a little bit heavy like this so you will get this bulgy effect over here you can go over here and as you guys know that in effects we have created one keyframe over here instead of that let's do one thing i'm going to add 80 percent only okay so this is how you can create this kind of trippy typographic animation